Starting today, medical services that do not require an overnight stay can start up again. As Tiffany Tarpley shows us, there's a delicate balance between getting back to work and keeping patients safe. When sitting in this chair, patients and staff are essentially face to face. At McCormick Dental Group in North Ridgeville, dentists and hygienists are wearing masks, face shields and gloves for protection. We're just happy to be back. Dr. Brad McCormick allowed us inside to see what work is like on their first day of performing more than just emergency procedures. He calls it a soft opening. Patient and staff temperatures are being checked. These six feet apart signs have been taped to the floor. Patients have to wait outside until they are notified with a sign that it's their turn to come in and the waiting room has been mostly cleared. I took the waiting room furniture out because I don't want it inviting out there. I don't want the TV on. I don't want people to think it's a gathering place anymore because it's not. Hospitals are now doing more than just essential surgeries. That includes screenings, vaccinations and other procedures that don't require an overnight stay. Some patients with chronic conditions and serious medical concerns were putting off care when they should not have been doing so. It's our responsibility uh, to let patients know that you're adversely affecting your health if you don't take care of your health conditions and we can do it in a safe manner. At university hospitals, there is a huge emphasis on daily deep cleaning, disinfecting surfaces frequently and social distancing. Taking chairs out of waiting rooms, having patients wait in their car until a text message arrives saying you can come now directly into your office. There are still limits to some dental procedures as Dr. McCormick looks to add air cleaning systems and things could look differently. There's probably going to be changes that we're doing daily that we see or maybe every other day as we're picking up tips from people or, or what we see could be the best, best solutions going forward. While some dental offices have chosen to open today, others are waiting. Some are waiting until next week, others later this month, and then there are some who are going to wait until June. Tiffany Tarpley, 3 News.